everybody, this is Thomas from Nerdy Technology and today I am going to show you what software you should have and which is quite useful to have. First of all, I have kind of organized my desktop right here. These are all the files I am using and on my, well I'm, I'm just not going to explain it right now, but I'm just going to shortly go through it. I got desktop where all my files are in, which I do need but not use like daily. I got my trash can with an ironic name. Um, yeah, you all know where it is for. I got extracted RAR for extracting my RAR files so I don't have the mess on my background or something. Uh, what you hear now is a bus driving next to my house. Anyways. We got our control panel and our computer. Uh, we are going to work with this file today, or actually the map. Um, these are the software I daily use, but it's not all of them, but just my most used, my most common. So we got Adobe Photoshop, and it's a great tool to edit your videos. Wait, what did I say? Uh, it's a great tool to um, edit your pictures with, and yeah, everybody heard about it. We got Adobe Premiere CS6 Pro and it's a program just like Photoshop but for videos and movies. You can also do audio with it. It's a great tool to edit your videos if you want to make a montage or whatever you want. You can do everything. There's nothing another program can and Premiere can. So that's a good thing. We also got AZ Soft Converter. Let's just open it. And we got the um, simple interface right here with a four steps tutorial on how to convert a video. We got a tons of profiles. I guess these are all available extensions. Um, so we got Audacity, which is also a very common used program to make commentaries and voiceovers, also to record and edit your audio with. We got Camtasia and I'm just opening Audacity now, just hold on. Meanwhile, I'm explaining Camtasia and why I am using that instead of Fraps. Everybody is saying Fraps is better and that is true, but first of all, um, the problem, I'm running a Windows 8 version. And the thing is, Fraps has an Aero or Aero um, desktop recorder, which is not compatible with Windows 8. I can record games with it, which is very good, it's a very good program, I'm not complaining. The thing is, I can't record my desktop, so that's why I need Camtasia Recorder. Also, I get Camtasia Studio with it, because you can't record without the program itself. So, um, it's great to edit as well, it's very good, and I would recommend it. But now Audacity, it's a very simple interface you got here, you can record and play and hear or you can, yeah it's a very simple thing but very good as well um you got daemon tools ultra to extract and mount and also create virtual disk for your torrent you have downloaded we got disk cleaner now and i don't i, I, no, I can't clean anything everything is good for me but um this program is not very useful but how to say it will make some changes because if you are browsing through documents and files um if you first clean it it will go smoother and faster and it will actually just remove cookies from your browser and such we got earth and view which is also a very common used program you can edit images with it um you can crop and cut images you can also change the extension by converting it to another file. You can also convert batches. And there you go. We have two Microsoft Office files, which is the PowerPoint in the Word version. Why am I using the 2007? Because I am more familiar with it and it's easier to use in my opinion. These are not for my own purposes, but for school, I need them. It's a must. Um, so um, we got two PDF architect and creator, which is also more for school. With this one, you can personalize, um, customize, and just create your own PDF files to your own preferences. 
you get PDF creator where you can actually just convert your word file to PDF and then you get the Windows basic tool which is the sticky notes and it's just very great um, if you have to keep something in mind or if you are worrying about forgetting it just write it on sticky notes and there you go this will this will also if I restart my computer now this will also be they are staying there unless you um, close the window anyways these were my um, most used and recommended software hope you all enjoy and if you learn something about this video or from this video don't forget to like the, uh, the video and comment in the comment section below if you have any question or request or a problem um, comment or PM in my inbox and there you go hope you all enjoyed see you later